today we're explaining ACEs, adverse childhood experiences, their causes and effects, and how we can beat the statistics by healing and breaking the cycle of abuse. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah. I'm a certified coach. I specialize in abuse recovery from narcissistic, sociopathic, and psychopathic abuse. If you're interested in trauma-informed content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go. What are ACEs? Adverse childhood experiences are potentially traumatic events that may happen between birth and age 17. These are critical developmental years that can impact your future trajectory of your life, your physical and mental health. According to American SPCC, researchers determined that 10 specific traumatic childhood experiences or ACEs could be linked to a higher likelihood of health changes later in life and that the likelihood of these negative effects increased with the number of ACEs a child experienced. The 10 ACEs were defined as the following childhood experiences, physical, sexual, or verbal abuse, physical or emotional neglect, separation or divorce, a family member with mental illness, a family member addicted to drugs or alcohol, a family member who is in prison, or witnessing a parent being abused. Still, there are variables this quiz doesn't account for, including stressors outside of the home, as well as the important role positive influences play on buffering the effects of trauma. Having a high ACE score doesn't take account for every trauma someone could have in their life, like bullying and harassment from peers, something that caused an injury in some form of accident, and discrimination against your race, sexuality, sex, or gender. These events can be just as damaging, but ACE primarily focuses on home life with parents, caregivers, or close family members. The importance of ACEs are to bring awareness to the detrimental effects that a toxic home environment has on a child into their adulthood. The statistics are not good, but do shed light onto why survivors of abuse do struggle with more than just their mental well-being from their painful childhoods. So let's talk about the statistics and outcomes. The CDC states that ACEs are common. About 64% of adults in the United States reported they had experienced at least one type of ACE before age 18. Nearly one in six, that 17.3% of adults reported they had experienced four or more types of ACEs. Preventing ACEs could potentially reduce many health conditions. Estimates show up to 1.9 million heart disease cases and 21 million depression cases potentially could have been avoided by preventing ACEs. So many people believe that many health conditions are inherited, and some really are to an extent, but the lifestyle you live, stress levels, and trauma you face factor in so much. Genes and shared habits are the top contributors. Generational trauma is passed down from family member to family member over and over again. This thinking makes everyone just accept that they will inherit health conditions whether or not they're physical or mental health related, when it's not always true. Survivors are often invalidated for saying that their mental or physical health was destroyed or altered because of their upbringing and are shamed for placing the blame where it should be on the people who caused the suffering and eventually caused these complications to develop. A child's brain development, when abused, is altered and poses many risks. Advocates.org states that neuroscience research findings that severe stress and chronic childhood trauma releases hormones that physically damage a child's developing brain. Toxic stress, the result of strong, frequent, or prolonged adversity, is the extreme, frequent, or extended activation of the body's stress response without the buffering of a supportive adult. Children's brains develop at an early age and toxic stress and the long-term release of stress hormones weakens the architecture of the developing brain, which can lead to lifelong problems in learning, behavior, and physical and mental health. Being forced to endure an upbringing of chaos and instability was never your fault. I want survivors to know that the physical and mental conditions that you may have developed are not in your head. You're not making excuses for not being able to always function like someone who had a healthy upbringing. Our brains as children were sadly altered by individuals who cared more about themselves than their child's needs. We unfortunately have research to confirm that trauma can cause the complications we have to deal with that don't just affect our mind but also our bodies. According to advocates.org, one in six adults experience four or more types of ACEs. According to the CDC, at least five out of ten of the leading causes of death are associated with ACEs. Children who experienced four or more adverse experiences had 12 times the odds of having negative health outcomes. 
Studies show that females, younger adults, sexual minorities, and multicultural individuals are at higher risk for experiencing ACEs. Respondents who have experienced any single category of ACEs are 87% more likely to have experienced other forms of trauma. Statistics on people who have experienced four or more ACEs without intervention show that they are 5.13 times more likely to be depressed, 2.93 times more likely to smoke, 2.42 times more likely to develop chronic pulmonary lung disease, that's COPD, and 3.23 times more likely to binge drink, etc. These statistics aren't positive. They can make us feel overwhelmed, upset, like we can't change anything. Even though we can never change the experiences that have caused us so much trauma, we don't have to be defined by the experiences we have faced in our past. It's important to get medical screening if you're having any type of complications in your physical or mental health. Listen to your body. We are often not heard or taken seriously when we bring up those health problems. It's not in your head. You have to keep pushing if you are experiencing something wrong with your body. What can we do to overcome the terrible outcomes of ACEs? In order to overcome ACEs, we have to have a support system. A support system can be whoever you need it to be. A trusted person in your life, a doctor, a support group, coaching or therapy. Social connections that are healthy are always wonderful to have. We are often limited because of the toxicity we grew up in, but there are many survivors out here who have been through very similar situations who also feel the same way that you do. Know that everyone heals and functions differently than someone else who has gone through the exact same thing. So even though there are statistics that show us we may develop these conditions, we have to remember that the risk doesn't mean that this is your fate or that there's nothing you can do about your health. The ACEs quiz. For some, knowing everything they can about their situation helps ease their anxiety, helps them understand their conditions, and feeds the why that always seems to scream in the back of their minds. Taking the ACEs quiz I have linked down in the description box can help validate your experience as a survivor of abuse who has lived in a traumatic home environment. No matter what the numbers say, you are the person who gets to determine if the statistics will define you. The only way to prevent ACEs outcomes is to raise your children and protect those children from the pain that we had to face growing up in abuse. Domestic violence in the toxic environment that altered our lives to break the generational cycle of abuse. If there was toxicity in the home with a spouse or partner, early intervention with your child can prevent the negative outcomes ACEs statistics show. Support your child, give them space to communicate if they need it, and take them to child psychologists if they need to express anything traumatic that they've experienced. If you don't have children or are unable to have children, remember that breaking the cycle is not only for the future generations. It is also to break the cycle for yourself. Break the cycle for your peace, your sanity, and to protect your health to live the best life that you possibly can. No experience or test will determine your fate, but you can choose how you want to move forward with your life and who you want to be. Have you taken the ACEs quiz? Let's talk about it down below in the comment section. I will see you next time. Stay safe.